Good afternoon. Welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. Uh, if you'd like, our mass settings can be found in the hymnals at, starting at number 290, uh, 290. But our entrance hymn is number 886, the summons, number 886. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we continue to celebrate uh, the goodness of God, and, and today we, we rejoice in a special way with uh, one of the new bishops elect, Father Matthew Elshoff, because he is pastor of St. Lawrence of Brindisi Church in Watts. And today the church celebrates the feast of St. Lawrence of Brindisi. So St. Lawrence was a Capuchin priest in the 17th century, known for his writing and for his preaching. And so we ask St. Lawrence's prayers in a special way on Bishop-elect uh, Matt Elsoff and on all of us uh, today. So as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who for the glory of your name and the salvation of souls bestowed on the priest, St. Lawrence of Brindisi, a spirit of counsel and fortitude, grant, we pray, that in the same spirit, we may know what must be done, and through his intercession, bring it to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. 
Although Moses and Aaron performed various wonders in Pharaoh's presence, the Lord made Pharaoh obstinate, and he would not let the children of Israel leave his land. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb, in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be an year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month, and then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. It shall not be eaten raw or boiled, but roasted whole, with its head and shanks and inner organs. None of it must be kept beyond the next morning. Whenever is, whatever is left over in the morning shall be burned up. This is how you are to eat it, with your lawns good, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both men and beasts, and executing judgment and all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate, with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I'm your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay, in the presence of all his people, I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions, but only the priests, could lawfully eat? Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned these innocent people. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. As, uh, as we celebrate these words of Jesus, how he is Lord of the Sabbath, uh, it's really a, a good opportunity to look at our scripture readings today because they all have these powerful images and stories behind them that we celebrate Sabbath after Sabbath. In fact, every time we come to Mass, this is exactly what we're celebrating uh, especially our, our first reading, that powerful, probably the most powerful story from the entire Old Testament, the story of Passover, with all the preparations and the steps that the people of Israel were called by God to do uh, on the night before they were going to leave Egypt, and especially all the preparations they had to make with the lamb. And that lamb whose flesh they ate and whose blood was put on their doorposts was ultimately what saved them from death. Especially that, that blood uh, on the doorposts marking the place uh, as a place where one of the children of Israel lived so that, that the house was spared all by the blood of the lamb. And of course, as we call Jesus the Lamb of God, that term comes all the way back to this time uh, referring to the lamb being the one provided by God as a way of saving his people. Jesus later was himself the lamb of God for the very same reason. But we no longer sacrifice lambs and we don't sacrifice Jesus in his bodily form when we come to Mass. But look, in our other reading, in our psalm, we have the image of the cup of salvation, and we have the, uh, the, the uh, image of the bread, both of which date back still to the time of King David. But those are the images that we use. We use bread, and we use the wine, the cup of salvation, as what we use to symbolize and make present that Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And so today as we celebrate Jesus being Lord of the Sabbath, we have all these beautiful images and the history behind them to connect us to so many thousands of years of believers, people who believe as we do, who continue to call on the name of the Lord and to rely on him for salvation, just as we do ourselves. Okay. 
Please stand. And so, my brothers and sisters, as God's people, we draw near his throne with confidence that he will hear our prayers. For priests and deacons, may the Holy Spirit bless their ministry as they lead, guide, and serve God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawmakers, may the Lord inspire each of their hearts in enacting laws that uphold the sanctity of life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those experiencing hunger, may God in his provision ensure they have food and water they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For parents in this faith community, the first teachers of the faith, may the Spirit guide their efforts in instructing the children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may they, through the mercy of God, receive the heavenly award. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of love and mercy, hear these prayers from your people. We ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite you to come forward and place a donation in the baskets near the sanctuary to help in the mission of the cathedral. Thank you for your generosity. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. 
Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song is number 1040, Many and Great, number 1040. Christ, we recall the 
sharing of our lives with one and all. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. We always like to recognize anybody who may be visiting us for the first time, so if this is your first time, please raise your hand high so that we can recognize you and welcome you. Welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. And so for the benefit of our visitors and anybody else, please know that if you park downstairs in the Cathedral parking garage, you need a parking validation. And you can get a validation from one of our officers on your right-hand side in the South Ambulatory, and the parking validation is good for 90 minutes of free parking downstairs. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.